What's going on guys, CTA Prime back here again. Recently, I've had a lot of people ask me how to install an operating system on the Atomic Pi. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. We're gonna be focusing on Linux operating systems because this only has two gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of built-in storage. So Linux is gonna run much better on this unit. When you initially get your board, it'll have a modified version of Lubuntu installed. Now I have run into some issues with it. It's kind of a hacked up version, but there are some drivers pre-installed that work with a lot of the add-on boards for the Atomic Pi. But to tell you the truth, 99% of the people purchasing these are never going to utilize those add-ons, including myself. So I personally like installing a fresh version of Linux on my Atomic Pi. Now if you ever need those add-ons, you can install those in pretty much any version of Linux. But like I said, a lot of people aren't going to use them. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install pretty much any version of Linux on this board as long as it's compatible with x86 CPUs. But before we get started, there's a few things we're going to need. First up, we'll need a mouse and a keyboard. Obviously, this is just a mini computer and we need some way to navigate inside of the operating systems. Next, you'll need a USB drive. A USB 2.0 8GB drive will work for most operating systems. And if you're not using an add-on board, you will need a USB hub because this only has one USB 3.0 port and we need to have the mouse and keyboard plugged in plus the USB drive. Personally, I'll be using the large add-on board mainly because it has easy power in and an extra USB 2.0 port. And the last thing we're gonna need is another computer or an Atomic Pi running a version of Linux that's working at the moment. We need to download our Linux distro of choice, plus an application that'll allow us to flash that operating system to the USB drive. We're gonna be using Etcher for that application, and luckily it works on Mac, Windows, or Linux, so no matter what operating system you're running, you can do this. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be using a Windows PC to download my operating system and flash it to the USB. All right, so let's go ahead and get our USB drive set up so we can install this new operating system on the Atomic Pi. First things first, I have a USB drive plugged into the PC I'm gonna be flashing from. This is a USB 3.0, 32 gigabyte drive, but a USB 2.0, eight gig will work. You don't have to format it, but I have formatted mine. The application we're gonna to use to flash will take care of everything for us. Next thing we need to do, head to the links in the description. We need to download Etcher. This is the application we're going to use to flash the operating system to the USB drive. This works on Windows, Mac, or Linux. I'm just going to grab the Windows X64 bit portable version. It's going to download for me. Now we need to download a Linux distribution. There are a lot available. We have Ubuntu, Pop OS, KL Linux, Arch Linux, Manjaro. And there's an awesome site called DistroWatch, which kind of goes through every single distribution that's available. There's just tons of stuff to download, so you really got to decide what you want to do. I can't decide for you, but my operating system of choice for the Atomic Pi is Lubuntu. I'm going to download 18.04.2. This is Bionic Beaver. I'm going to go with the desktop 64-bit version. 32 will also work. I'm going to let everything download and then I'm going to place it all on my desktop for easy access. All right, so now I have Lubuntu downloaded and Etcher. We're going to go ahead and start up Etcher. From within Etcher, we're going to select image and that's going to be the operating system we just downloaded. Mine's located on my desktop. Select, desktop, Lubuntu. Make sure you have the correct USB drive chosen. I'm using that UltraFit. 3.0 drive and click flash. This is going to create a bootable installer for the Linux distribution of our choice. Give it a little time to finish up. The USB drive is finished flashing. All we need to do now is move over to the Atomic Pi. I'm going to plug in this USB drive and then we're going to boot from it so we can install the operating system to the internal storage. I'll show you how to do all of that. Now it's time for the installation. I have a mouse and keyboard plugged in. I also have the USB drive plugged in that we just flashed. Like I mentioned at the beginning, you can always use a USB hub if you really need to. I'm going to go ahead and power up the Atomic Pi. And while it's powering on, I'm going to press delete on my keyboard. I need to enter the BIOS. So now that we're in the BIOS, we're going to head over to the boot section. And below this, we're going to see boot option priorities. We want to set this USB drive as number one. 
boot option number one. You'll also see the ethernet listed. I usually just disable it. I go back to boot option one, press enter on your keyboard, and make sure your USB drive is chosen. Mine's a SAN disk, yours might be labeled differently. Now that we have that set, we're gonna go to save and exit, save changes, and reset. Now every time we boot this unit up and this USB drive is plugged in, it will boot from this USB drive. And when it does, it'll bring up the grub menu. There's a few options we can choose from in here. Try Lubuntu without installing, or install Lubuntu. I'm gonna go with install Lubuntu. So I'll highlight this, press enter on my keyboard. It's now gonna boot from the USB drive into the installer. This is the installation wizard. First thing we need to do is choose our language. Keyboard layout. I recommend connecting to a network either over Ethernet or Wi-Fi. This is going to give us some updates while we're installing the operating system. But for me, I'm just going to click continue. Normal installation. And I'm going to choose erase disk and install Ubuntu. This is going to erase the internal storage, so make sure you don't have anything important on that 16 gigabytes. Just going to erase the disk and install the operating system. I'm going to install now. It's going to give me another warning. Yes, I would like to erase the disk. Click continue. Choose your location. Now we need to put in a name and a password. You can require the password to log in or log in automatically. I usually choose this option. Click continue. It's now going to install the operating system to the internal storage. Give it a little time. When it's finished, it'll ask us to reboot. Then we're going to have to pull out the USB drive, press enter, and the new operating system will be installed on the Atomic Pi. The installation is now complete. We're going to click Restart Now. It's going to ask us to remove our USB drive and press Enter. So we now have a fresh installation of Linux on the Atomic Pi. We're going to connect to our internet. I'm also going to show you how to update your system real quick. And then that's pretty much it. In order to update, we need to run a command in the terminal. We can open up the terminal by using the little icon down here, System Tools, LX Terminal, or do it the easy way, Control alt t on your keyboard. We're going to type this in exactly how it's shown on screen. sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade y. Press enter. It'll prompt you for your password that you created and you have to be connected online for this to update. This is gonna run an update and upgrade on the operating system. It could take a little while, but when it's finished, your operating system will be fully up to date. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. You now know how to install a Linux distribution on your Atomic Pi. It's really simple to do. I used Lubuntu in this tutorial, but installing Linux is basically the same for each of these distros. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'm also going to leave some links to some operating systems in the description. But like always, thanks for watching.